Hello my lovely people, welcome to Nova Scotia. That is right, this is Nova Scotia behind me. Last night we flew into Halifax and we did a harbour hopper tour to check out the area and of course the harbour. Then we walked down the boardwalk and we had a lovely dinner at a beer garden. And now we're in a town called Baddock. So basically we've driven up to Cape Breton, a beautiful drive. And for the next few days, we'll be exploring Nova Scotia before heading to New Brunswick. Now I'm gonna split this video into two parts. The first part is this video all about Nova Scotia. And the second part, part two, will be on New Brunswick. Each road trip is around five days. And of course, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video and give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. And on the way to Badek, make sure you check out Charlene's and the seafood chowder. I don't personally eat seafood, but Dave will show you exactly how good he thought it was. Next up, we're gonna explore the town of Badek. So we've just finished up at the Alexander Graham Bell National Historic Site, really interesting about the work and life of Alexander Graham Bell. You must check him out. And now we're at the Inverary Resort in Badek. Uh, this resort has loads of stuff. It's right on the lake, which you can see just over there behind me. There's a spa, a gym, a lakeside restaurant. We're gonna eat in the bar because it has live music and the rooms are spacious. And anyway, tomorrow we explore more of Cape Breton. All right, it's day two on our road trip in Nova Scotia and we left Badek and headed to Sydney. The drive alone here was incredible and we've now come to the largest fiddle in the world, a popular tourist attraction as is Sydney itself. Our next stop is a must visit in Cape Breton with the fortress of Lewisburg National Historic Site and we've come to Restaurant de la Marine. We've got a turkey pie which is a staple diet of the people that built this fortress 300 years ago. Lots of history here. We're having a great day here and it's not every day you get to fire a musket. That was a 1734 Grenadier. And we've seen all kinds of different shows from the indigenous people to the shaming of somebody who stole something. Yeah, definitely well worth the visit. So this is the tasting at the Tavern Storehouse. We have a local rum to taste along with all of these beers and ciders. Yummy. I am proper excited today. This is day three. Today we're doing a bucket list road trip. We are doing the Cabot Trail on Cape Breton in Nova Scotia. The first thing we've decided to do is come up the Cape Smoky Gondola. This is pretty new. It's only been open less than a year, but look at this. Look at these views. Honestly, today is gonna to be an epic day. We've got so much to try and squeeze in. We're gonna be road tripping around flying the drone when we're not in a national park and exploring as much of this beautiful national park as we can. So the top of the gondola is a 1.8 kilometer trail which should take one to one and a half hours, which we're just doing now. All right, the hike is done and we're grabbing a Cape Smoky Bohemian Pilsner we're hiding back down in the gondola. Cheers. final stop on the Cabot Trail is the Skyline Trail which is about a seven to seven and a half kilometer walk depending on where you read the information it should take around two or three hours and has some excellent viewpoints so we're very much looking forward to seeing it. Now today we are stopping at a few different places. Behind me is a place called Bikarin which celebrates 
mid Lent, which is actually a bit of a festival which they hold in the area still today. Because back in the day, they used to go out and wear masks to party and celebrate and try and walk the priests. They still do this in March every year. So that's a really interesting spot. You must stop there. We also stopped at a museum in Chetty Camp. So Chetty Camp is a small little town where we also had dinner. We stopped at a museum yesterday, which has, I'm gonna read this, some hooks rubs. as a collection of hooks rugs by Elizabeth Lemport and also a nice collection from Margaret Garon, which is not how you pronounce it, but I am doing my best with these French pronunciations. The dinner we had last night was at a cafe called La Brie, a real local hotspot, a local hangout. You must book in advance because it's very popular, lovely setting. We had a beautiful sunset over the sea next to us as well and I had a delicious vegetarian Mediterranean burger, which was great. So now we have more places to stop, more things to see. So we're moving on with the rest of the cabin travel. We have departed Inverness and I'm loving the Scottish theme throughout Nova Scotia, which of course means New Scotland. And we've now joined the Cali Trail, which I believe stands for party or means party in Gaelic. And we've come to the Glenora Distillery, which also has an inn and places to stay. And it's famous for being North America's first single malt whiskey distillery. And it claims to be on a par with scotches from Scotland itself. Now we have just been inside and done a little tasting and it's nice. I must visit when you're in this area. We're gonna continue on the Cali Trail now. So we had a little tip off about taking the Mini Cabot Trail, which is basically the 337 and the 245, I think I may have got that wrong. We stopped at the lighthouse. The lighthouse was pretty cool. The drive was good. It wasn't yeah, amazing. Yeah. But most importantly, we came to the Steinhardt Distillery, which is this epic building behind me. It's only been here nine years. They distill rum, gin, whiskey, and vodka, and also beer. It's a German guy who set up, like I said, just nine years ago, and he's created this epic environment for local people. Music outdoors, food, great beer. We just had a tour with Gracie. She was amazing. So it's all about it. 100% recommend that you stop here. All right, good morning. Now, last night we arrived at the Pick Two Lodge Seaside Resort. And one thing I do recommend that you do in Nova Scotia or Atlantic Canada in general is go for a morning swim. Now, I tried it this sunrise. It's already 7.15 and the sun is long up. If you're brave enough, Get in that fresh seawater and go for a swim. <laughs> That's fresh, it's like being in England. It's at this point in the video where we're heading over to New Brunswick. So there'll be a second video for New Brunswick. So check that one out. That'll be on my channel too. And we'll be coming back to Nova Scotia via the ferry into Digby, where I'll pick up with this video to stick with Nova Scotia. So we took the ferry from St. John to Digby, which is a great way to save some time if you're doing Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. So we are now in the west of Nova Scotia and making our way back up towards Halifax. Two of the things that you must do in Digby is first go and check out the harbour and the fishing boats, which we've just done. And the second is to have some scallops or scallops. Uh, I actually don't eat them, so it's over to Dave to do the tasting. Nice little bit of lemon juice. Mmm. <laughs> This is our last day exploring Nova Scotia. There's a lot to see in the Wolfville area and we'll be continuing along the Good Cheer Trail. This right here is the Blomenden Lookoff, which overlooks the whole of the Annapolis Valley uh, before we head off to Halls Harbor next. All right, Halls Harbour has officially the highest tides in the world. So we talked about in the Bay of Fundy in New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, how the tidal change is immense. Well, here they have the highest one. We have this incredible view over the harbour. The tide is up 
right now. This place is known for its lobster. Of course, as I mentioned, I can't eat it. However, Dave is having the lobster poutine. Chill out. <laughs> oh, that was good. back on the Good Cheer Trail. I've just gone over here to Sea Level Brewing because last night at the hotel, I had an incredible blue heron amber ale from there, which was unfiltered. So I've just picked up a few of those to take home with me. There's a good spot because you've got Wayfarer's Ale Society there as well. So you've got two spots that you can stop and have a taster or buy some beers to take away. So the next stop is the Wayfarer. along from the breweries we are now at Barreling Tide Distillery and we've been learning about the rums they do here, the different vodkas, there's a liqueur called Javali which is a coffee liqueur and we're about to try now the chili pepper vodka. Oh, oh Jesus So this is now the ending point for the epic Nova Scotia leg of this road trip. Don't forget the New Brunswick video is also out there. Go and check that one out. So it's a bit disjointed. We went up to Cape Breton. We did the Cabot Trail, loads of incredible hiking. Then we came up via Digby and did some of the south side. So don't forget there's other places like Peggy's Cove, Lindenburg, things like that if you looped around the other way. I'm going to save that for next time. Feel free to drop in the comments any other ideas and suggestions that you have for New Brunswick, uh, for Nova Scotia, I should say. Um, otherwise, we are now at the airport in Halifax. We're actually at the Alt Hotel, which is a really cool spot. Really recommend staying here uh, for your airport transfers because look at that. Got the runway just there and you can literally walk across to the terminal uh, so we're very close we dropped the hire car off that was all good very easy very nice experience uh, using the hire car here in nova scotia compared to the united states let's not go there anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, thanks so much for watching drop any comments below give it a thumbs up don't forget to turn the notifications on if you don't want to miss a video otherwise thanks for watching and happy travels